from left to right kick off. The Soviets all in white. And this promises to be a very exciting game indeed because these two teams are undoubtedly two of the top teams in Europe. Hamburg have proved that so often in the past before. And Tbilisi are approving it this season because in the previous round of this competition, they knocked out the English champions and ex-European champions Liverpool on aggregate by four goals to two, losing 2-1 in Liverpool, but then winning 3-0 in Tbilisi. This game being played in the Hamburg Fox Park Stadium in front of a capacity crowd of just over 60,000, quite naturally. The referee, by the way, Monsieur Conrad from France, a very experienced international referee. And he may have to be because uh, it's quite possible that the fireworks uh, will fly in this game. Feelings against the Soviet Union, not uh, very favorable, of course, at the moment, after the aggressive march into uh, Afghanistan. Although, of course, the Soviet players out here this evening weren't to blame for that. But still, I suppose, feelings can't be helped, can't be avoided. And you can't avoid bringing politics into sport nowadays, unfortunately. But let's get on with the sport and let me tell you the two teams and uh, I'll tell you the uh, Hamburg one first because uh, the names of their players are a lot easier to pronounce than the names of the Soviet players. And Hamburg with Rudy Kargas in goal, you've already seen him, and then the back four of number two, Manfred Kaltz. And oh, and that was a chance there, a chance again. Rumesh just missed that one. That ball coming across from Hartwig. So in these opening stages, great chance for the West German champions, Hamburg. So Manfred Kaltz, number two, the right back, the two central defenders, Jakobs, number six, and uh, Peter Nogli, the captain, number five, the left back, Hidian, number three. In midfield, that man there, Jimmy Hartwig, number eight, Bullion, number four, and Magart, number ten. And then, let's just watch this cross. Oh, and a fine save there by Gabalia. I'll be telling you the other Soviet players in a moment. The three front runners for Hamburg, Keegan number seven, Rubesh number nine, Ryman number 11. And there's Gabalia or Gabalia. And he's one of the easiest to pronounce, so you can imagine what the others are like. The back four of number two, Mutshiri. Number five, Chiwadza. Number four, the man with the unpronounceable name, but I'll have a go at it. Chiyut Shah Gashwili. Well, I hope he's not on the ball too often. There's Gabelia again, or Gabalia. And number three is Chilaya. And then in midfield, number eight, Koritza. Number ten, Kupiani. The man they talk of as the Franz Beckenbauer of Soviet football. Brilliant ball player. Number seven is Daresalia. Number nine, Gutsayev. And then the two front runners, the captain, number seven, Matshaidza, although he operates a lot in midfield as well. In fact, he's practically here, there, and everywhere. And then the only real genuine front runner, the man who stays up front all the time, Shengelia. So uh, I'm afraid you're in for some uh, very exotic names this evening. Well, I suppose we better get used to the Soviet names after that march into Afghanistan. Although whether they'll have it as easy as... Uh, here this evening as they had it in Afghanistan, I don't think so. Not with guys like Horst Rubbish around, who can really take care of himself on a soccer pitch. And so can that little man there, the mighty mouse Kevin Keegan. Five internationals, by the way, in this Tbilisi team, five Soviet internationals. There's Keegan. Keegan, by the way, of course, used to play for uh, Liverpool. And after his old teammates got defeated by Tbilisi, he said then, I'll gain my revenge for that. I'll revenge you boys. I'll avenge you boys. Don't worry. In fact, he especially made a phone call to Liverpool to tell them that. And was also in Liverpool a couple of days ago, talking uh, to some of his old teammates, asking about the strengths and uh, weak points of this Tbilisi team. Machait, sir fine player good long shot and that wasn't an easy one way outside the box Rudy Cargas having to go down to uh, get his whole body safely behind that low skidding ball always the hallmark of a good keeper not taking any chances whatsoever get your whole body behind the ball 
But feelings running a bit high, as I was saying, quite naturally here in, uh, in Hamburg. I'm sure though this uh, won't interfere all that much with the play of the uh, Soviets. Tis, uh, Tbilisi, very experienced team. But so too are Hamburg. Manfred Kelz regarded by many as one of the finest fullbacks in the world at the moment. Kelz again, pulls it back well. Oh, and a chance there! What a shot! Just past the bar. That shot from Magat coming in at that far post. Really hit it with his left foot. Gabellier, I don't think uh, he made a tremendous dive. And look at Keegan. His arms in the air, wondering how Magat could have missed. But of course, those first time shots on the volley, they either go in or they don't. That one was just off target. Monsieur Conrad on the ball there. Free kick for Tbilisi. And Keegan. Here, there and everywhere. And Manfred Counts loves to overlap down that right flank. Beats his man beautifully. What a chance here, Keegan. Another chance. And Trubbish. Hartwig and Trubbish up there. Jimmy Hartwig hit it wildly past. A great run from Manfred Kaltz. Here it is again. Beats his man beautifully. Pulls the ball back. Keegan stumbles. There's Hartwig. Couldn't do much about it though, actually, because the ball was kicked straight at him. Didn't have any time at all for a clear shot. Machaidza. Shingelia. Kupiani getting in there. And Kupiani gets a corner from Nogli. Nogli doesn't seem to think so, but the referee does. So too does, uh, does the linesman. Gipiani takes it quickly, but not well. And there's Keegan again. European player of the year. By the way, I should mention that we've got uh, something special for you this evening because after this game, you can see the recorded highlights of another top European game, in fact, the UEFA Cup match between Red Star Belgrade and Bayern Munich. And so, keep tuned to this programme for this uh, rather special edition of Soccer Made in Germany, because that game afterwards, which as I was saying, has been recorded, really is a cracker. Offside, Leisman had his flag up straight away. Number nine there, Gutsayev. Full shot of this fine stadium, the pitch in excellent condition. And Hamburg in excellent shape as well. They're joint top again this season of the Bundesliga together with Bayern Munich. Don't forget the team you'll be able to see after this game in the recorded highlights of their match in Belgrade. There's that man, Kaltz again. Of course, if you're a regular viewer of uh, Soccer Made in Germany, as I hope you are, you'll have seen quite recently uh, two of the players at least out there on the pitch. Oh, and that was a good save by Gabelia. At first, he almost misjudged it, 
and then just managed to get back at the last moment. That was Bullion fired that one in there. Ivan Bullion. There he is, the Yugoslav international. Real long dipping shot. One against the bar. And Hamburg really turning it on now. And there's Manfred Kaltz. As I was about to tell you, one of the two players who were able to see in that recent match which uh, we were fortunate enough to show on this program between Borussia Dortmund and a World Select 11. The game for UNICEF, for the United Nations uh, Children's Relief Organization. What a fantastic match that was. If this one's half as good, it'll be a great game. A good run here. Good Saif. By the way, I'd like to uh, thank all the viewers who sent me letters and also phoned me as well and made all the phone calls after watching that tremendous game. That game which was uh, for such a wonderful cause for the starving children of the world. Chengelia there, annoyed with that. And there's a Tbilisi team bench. The other player, of course, that was uh, in that World eleven from Hamburg was uh, Kevin Keegan. What a fine match he had as well with Manfred Kaltz. Play on, says the referee, quite correctly so, playing the advantage law. Kipiani. Kipiani won't get to that one. But the Soviets obviously not uh, just content to play defensive soccer, even though they're playing here in Hamburg. Keegan a bit slow there. She adds up. And Kipiani beaten by Kaltz. Matscheidzer. Tries one. Oh, and a good save. A good shot and a good save again by Kargis. There's the Hamburg team bench. Looking a bit anxious, quite naturally so. Matscheidzer, the Tbilisi captain. Beating Hartwig well. Looks up just for a moment. And there's the shot. And Kargis again getting his whole body behind the ball. But uh, Matscheidzer looking dangerous with those long shots. Hamburg had better watch that. There's Bullion. Keegan. Making room for himself again. Pulls it across well, Bullion. Rubesh. The shot blocked from Hartwig, Rubesh. Gabelia. Soviets playing good possession football. Not wasting their passes. Kipiani unmarked there, gets the ball. Kipiani! And it's in the net! Kipiani has scored! Oh, that was some bad marking by the Hamburg defence. Tbilisi have gone one up. Naturally, the Soviets are delighted. Who can blame them? Kipiani, the scorer. Took his chance well, he was unmarked. Kaltz came in too late. No did as well. Kipiani sending the ball beneath the body of the diving Cargus. So 1-0 for Tbilisi, and that's a real setback for Hamburg. 
Let's see what they can do about that. Kaltz. Right back to his skipper, Peter Nogley. There you can see it. 30 minutes played. Hamburg nil, Dynamo Tiflis one. Tiflis being the German word for Tbilisi. I only know it's Tbilisi, by the way, because uh, I read the English papers after Tbilisi knocked out Liverpool. And a chance here again. Manfred Kaltz. Annoyed with some of his defenders there for not marking tightly. Kipiani, the goal scorer. Bullion back to Cargus. Magat. Matscheidzer. And Gutsayev beaten there by Hidian. The Hamburg uh, team officials now and the substitutes looking even more anxious than they were before. Including the man nearest the camera, the Hamburg coach, Branko Tsebic. Ex Yugoslav International, fine coach. Been in Germany now for over uh, oh, 15 years. Good tackle, I thought, but unfor unfair, said the, uh, the linesman. So a foul given against Gutsayev. That's Bullion. Bullion. Counts again. is going to take this free kick for Hamburg. Many counts. Another good cross. And every time Kaltz attacks down that right flank, the Soviets looking in trouble. getting up there but he's beaten rubbish again and Gabelia fouled by Keegan <laughs> Gabelia waving his teammates upfield And the long clearance. Very long indeed. Oh, that was dangerous there. And that wasn't far off target. That was a good one on the turn. Shengelia. Peter Nogli misjudging his header. Shengelia getting to the ball before Hidian. Hitting it first time on the turn, just over the bar. Hamburg not going too safe under pressure. Making a few mistakes at the back there. Ooh. 
Matt Scheidzer certainly having a fine game in midfield goal kick Kutsayev overrunning the ball the number nine who of course normally is the centre forward but uh, the Soviets don't play really with any numbers in mind good side of attacking down the left and right flanks with Matshaidza and uh, Kipiani coming through the centre of the field Kevin Keegan a good clearance Kevin Keegan must have tremendous lungs, never seems to stop running. Rubesh. Counts. Oh, it's an own goal. Well, 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 well. Manny Counts tried a shot. It would have gone well wide. But Mudshiri, now watch this. First of all, Hartwig with the head. There's Trubesh. Doesn't try a shot, pushes it out to Kaltz very intelligently. Manny Kaltz beats his man well, tries a shot. Would have gone wide and there was Mudshiri. Putting the ball into his own net. Quite unnecessary. So Hamburg have drawn level. Rather lucky to do so, but still, that's soccer for you. One minute and a half time. Hamburg one, Dynamo Tbilisi one. Well, that was the goal Hamburg needed. Can they get another one on the stroke of half time? Gabelia, fine goalkeeper, making no mistake whatsoever, judging that cross perfectly. Good Hidian. There's Keegan. And the whistle's gone for half time. Peter Hidian handing the ball to Monsieur Conrad. What a pretty even first half, actually, first 45 minutes. As the scoreline suggests, Hamburg 1, Dynamo Tbilisi 1. And now, five minutes gone in this second half. Peter Hiddian on the ball for Hamburg. One all the score. Gabelia losing the ball. Keegan against the bar. Into the net it goes, but it's no goal. Foul by Kevin Keegan. Decides Monsieur Conrad from France. So no goal. Peter Hiddian with the cross. Gabelia and Keegan really going underneath him there. Hits the ball against the crossbar. There's Jimmy Hardwick. Nodding it into the empty net, but the whistle had already gone. So, a free kick for Tbilisi. Throw in for the Soviets. Who must be pretty pleased with the scoreline. One all. It's always a good result when you're playing away from home. But of course there's a long way to go yet.
Mudshiri, who was so unfortunate towards the end of the first half, to put the ball into his own net. Kaltz and Gabelia. What a great match Manny Kaltz is having. Magat. Hartwig and Kaltz again. Keegan into the net. It is there this time, 2-1. Kevin Keegan has made it 2-1 and again it was Manny Kaltz who set up the move though. Naturally now the Hamburg fans delighted. Their team leading by two goals to one. Hartwig. Kaltz unmarked. High ball. Kevin Keegan comes storming into the far post. Gabellion actually hesitating this time. And you can't hesitate with a man like uh, Kevin Keegan coming in at you. But he did, and so it's now Hamburg 2, Dynamo Tbilisi 1. And the Hamburg fans and the players, of course, are a whole lot happier now. And there's Kaltz again. Well, I can't understand why Dynamo Tbilisi, why the Soviets don't put a man on Kaltz. He certainly proved to be the uh, Hamburg danger man. Keegan, like a buzzing bee, like a little terrier, at the opposition's heels all the time. Kipiani. Beautiful ball control by the Soviet midfield player. Soviets naturally looking for the equaliser now. Jakobs. Keegan, too short and not quite quick enough to get to that one. Peter Nogli. Free kick. Foul on Magat. Overall, though, it's been a very fair game. No nasty fouls whatsoever. Kaltz. Rubesh. Oh, that was a chance there for the tall Hamburg centre forward, completely unmarked. He should have put that one away. He's shaking his head in disbelief because he's often, uh, or practically always, so good in the air. Manny Calso, again with the cross. There's the header from Rubesh, way over the bar. Free kick, foul by Rubesh. Don't forget, by the way, that you're watching Soccer Made in Germany. European special, Hamburg against Dynamo Tbilisi of the Soviet Union in the European Champions Cup. And don't forget also that after this game, you can watch the recorded highlights of the UEFA Cup match, that is the European Football Union Cup match between Red Star Belgrade of Yugoslavia and Bayern Munich of West Germany. Well, I can promise you that's a real cracker. Good Saif. Kipiani, the Tbilisi goal scorer, took his chance well in the first half. 
Throw in for Hamburg. And I can also tell you in a couple of weeks' time on this show, your favourite soccer show, Soccer Made in Germany, you can watch a very special programme which I recorded recently in New York. A programme in which we not only take excerpts from matches, but also visit the clubs, visit the players, visit the cities. The three cities being Munich, Gelsenkirchen and Berlin. We look at some training sessions, look at some of the city sites, and look at the fans who support the teams. Players who only play amateurs normally at the weekends, just for fun. People like you, but then also the top stars as well. But of course, they wouldn't be anything without people like you, without the fans. So that's something special to look forward to. A soccer made in Germany special, which as I was saying, I recorded recently in New York, and I must uh, tell everybody what a fantastic time I had there. I must say though that every time I come to the States, I always enjoy myself so much, wherever I go. Unfortunately, I only had four days in New York, but they were four great days. Kevin Keegan now. And New York, of course, is the place where the, uh, the well-known Bundesliga coach, West German National League coach, Hennis Weisweiler will soon be. That's from the 1st of July, taking over as the coach of the New York Cosmos. And if he enjoys himself half as much as I do when I'm in New York, then I'm sure he's in for a great time as well. Matt Scheidzer. Magad coming back well there. Kevin Keegan can't believe it, but it was a foul by him for pushing. Kipiani. Well, that was a bad one by him. One of the few bad passes we've seen from Kipiani. Bullion. Kaltz. Bullion missing the ball completely. But still recovering well. Magad couldn't get to that one though. Mudshiri. Kipiani. I think that goal from Kevin, uh, Kevin Keegan, although probably it was also the uh, own goal just before half time, has taken the steam a little bit out of the play of the Soviets. Kevin Keegan. Nice little touch to Shrubesh. Shrubesh trying one, and oh, what a good effort that was. Tremendous shot there from Horst Shrubesh. And a fine save as well by Gabelia. Beautiful little touch though from Keegan. Watch it now with the outside of his right boot. Ostrobesh. What a rocket. It was going all the way. Gabelia. Counts. Magat. Pulls it across well, oh, and Keegan only just missing the ball by a fraction. Gabellia, I'm sure, very grateful indeed to grab hold of that one. And there's Kevin Keegan. Together with Manfred Kaltz, uh, the man of the match so far for me anyway. And that's the substitute 
Number 14, Sulak Valinsa. He's come on in place of number three, Chalia. Tbilisi bringing on a substitute in an effort to get back into this game. They're two one down now, don't forget. Rudy Cargas, who's had very little to do in this second half. Rumesh. Oh, way over the top, although, to be fair to him, it was from a very narrow angle. Here's that chance again for Shrubesh on the turn, ballooning it over the bar. Of course, the angle was extremely narrow. He would have been better off, actually, to pull it back into the middle where a couple of players were waiting. Keegan Good Sayef And Shengeli are actually being held I thought a bit there by Jacobs who was looking to get away with that Kipiani pulls it back in. Away goes Keegan again. Hamburg certainly having more of the play now. Looking far more convincing than they did in the first half. Manfred Kaltz. I think I'm getting a bit of frog in my throat here. Peter Nogli. Jimmy Hartwig. Goes down, free kick. And Kipiani being shown the yellow card. The sporting gesture there by Jimmy Hartwig and Kipiani. Kipiani saying, I'm sorry ref, I couldn't help it. But Monsieur Conrad from France, taking no notice of that. Kipiani goes into the book. Another free kick. For another foul by Kipiani. He can't believe the world anymore. Counts. Hartwig. It's in the net. That's number three. Well, that's definitely that now. Jimmy Hartwig has made the score. Hamburg three to Blizzy one. Naturally, all the Hamburg players delighted. And the fans going wild here in the Fox Park Stadium. Watch it now. 
Keegan running past the ball. A little chip from Kultz. Jimmy Hartwig timing his run and his jump and his header perfectly into the net it goes. So 3-1 now for Hamburg. Rubbish. Boris Rubbish. Trying to get his goal as well. I think, uh, I think some of the uh, Hamburg players there complaining to Rubbish that uh, he should have passed the ball. And of course, I suppose it's natural in a way that he wants to get in on the goal-scoring act. Magat. Hamburg really in control now. Monsieur Conrad looking at his watch. Although he's done that several times before. Long high ball. it it's all over the Hamburg fans here throwing their seat cushions in the air with delight Peter Nogli doesn't look too delighted but he should in fact of course because his team Hamburg SV the reigning West German champions have defeated Tbilisi of the Soviet Union by three goals to one there are the goal scorers Kipriani giving Tbilisi the lead Kautz being credited uh, with uh, the equaliser, although of course it was an own goal by Mudshiri, Keegan getting number two, Jimmy Hartwood with a fine header getting number three, those three goals giving Hamburg in the European Champions Cup competition a 3-1 victory against Dynamo Tbilisi from the Soviet Union. And now of course don't go away because even though this game has ended, in a few moments we'll be returning with the recorded highlights of the top UFA Cup match, that is the European Football Union match between Red Star Belgrade of Yugoslavia and Bayern Munich of West Germany and as I promised you earlier this really is going to be a cracker.